While refunding an air ticket isn't as quick and easy as returning an item to the store, it doesn't need to be stressful. Once you understand air ticket refunds, you can prepare your client ahead of time to accept the process. They'll become frustrated if they think the refund should be as easy as returning a t-shirt to Walmart. Here's how the process begins. When your client needs to cancel, just view your booking on centerapp.com and send a cancel refund request. That's the quickest way to get it in the queue. It's important to know that there are three monetary components in an airline refund. Your client just wants their money back, but they may need to be made aware that there are basically three types of monies in the equation. The three monetary components are the airfare, your profit, and Centrav's cancel fee. Service fees are non-refundable, so you can set those aside. Occasionally, there'll be some international taxes that are non-refundable. We'll make you aware of those when it happens. The breakdown of these monetary components is something that you may or may not need to reveal to your client. You'll understand why in a moment. First understand that there are two possible paths for the money when you purchase an air ticket. It's important to know that if the money goes down one path at time of purchase, it'll return down that same path at time of refund. It'll either be charged and refunded by the airline or charged and refunded by pay for my trip. Pay for My Trip is simply a payment processing service used by Centrav. We use it to charge credit cards when the airline won't. It's important to know this and to advise your client about it because they will see a charge for P4MT.com on their credit card statement. If they don't know what that is, they might dispute it, in which case we have a mess. Again, there are two possible paths. It'll either be charged and refunded by the airline or charged and refunded by pay for my trip. Well, which path is my booking on? Is the refund coming from pay for my trip or is it coming from the airline? To find the answer, just look in your booking in my bookings. You can scroll down and view payment history. Here's an example of one charged by pay for my trip. So the amount was 2891.80, payment date processed by pay for my trip. And the note here says airfare. It's important to look at that because sometimes you'll see charges that are not for airfare. Maybe an exchange took place. Maybe there are some service fees. You'll see those noted differently. But when we're talking about a refund, you're looking for the airfare charge. If it's charged by pay for my trip, the refund will come from pay for my trip. Here's an example of one charged by the airline and therefore the refund will come from the airline. Notice it says processed by China Southern Airlines and the note says airfare. You can ignore the second charge. That's for service fees, $35. Service fees are always non-refundable. So if you charge the service fee, we're not going to give that back to your client. One misconception that agents sometimes have is that Centrav is holding the money. In fact, we never hold your money. You probably know that we pay commissions within two weeks of purchase. Many suppliers hold that money until your client has traveled. By holding the money, it benefits the supplier in two ways. One, they don't have to recall commissions if your client cancels. There's less hassle for them. Second reason is that it helps their cash flow. They get to hold your money for months. Centrav doesn't do that, so we're not in the business of holding your money. If there's a holdup on the refund, it's over here on the airline. So whether the refund is coming directly back to the card or through Centrav's pay for my trip, here's where the money is and we're waiting for that. It takes an average of one to two months for an airline to do a refund. Some of them take longer. Some of them can go fairly quickly. Recently, I saw a small foreign airline hold a refund for six months. The only way we could contact them was via email. We finally discovered that they just had one person working refunds. But even with the big three airlines, it's important to warn your client that it could take a couple of months, so be patient. Now let's look at the math. It's not as complicated as it might seem. The initial sale is over on the left here. The Centrav fare was $440 on this example. The agent markup was $60, and there was a 3.5% fee of $17.50. Sometimes there's no credit card fee. In this example, there is. Total charge, $517.50. When it comes time for the refund, we look at the 517.50, deduct the airline penalty, 
deduct your markup and deduct Centrav's fee, which is currently $50, subject to change. Amount refunded to the credit card, $257.50. One question that has to be answered is, are you keeping your markup or not? If you keep your markup, we refund all but the airline penalty, your markup, and Centrav's fee. If you're not keeping your markup, we have to recall your commission. Remember, we pay out commissions within two weeks, so it's in your bank account. We have to recall that and then refund all but the airline penalty and Centrav's fee. Remember the two paths? Let's look at the other path going directly from the airline back to the credit card. Here's what the math looks like. Initial charge, 440. Agent markup, 60. Total charge, $500. When the airline goes to refund this, they don't think about you and they don't think about Centrav. All they think about is their own penalty. So they deduct $150 for their penalty and refund everything else to the credit card. This means they gave your markup and Centrav's fee to the client. No bueno, right? If you want to keep your commission, we have to charge that. It's the only way to do it. So we will charge your client's credit card for your markup and we will charge your client's credit card for $50. This is a confusing issue and it's irritating for your client. They want a refund and now somebody's charging their card. So it's important that you explain this whenever you do a refund and it's been charged by the airline. If you're keeping your markup, Centrav will charge your markup and our fee on the client's credit card via P4MT. If you're not keeping your markup, we have to recall it and then Centrav will charge our fee on the client's credit card. Again, service fees are non-refundable. So if you charge the fee or if Centrav charge, for example, a TSF, ticketing service fee, those are non-refundable. When you see service fees involved in a transaction, just take that off, set it aside. It's not involved. We won't give that back to your client.